this Ready is the craziest. Right? This is the craziest of life. <laughs> you guys know this one, right? Yo, this part was fucking crazy, man. This part. <laughs> he goes around this truck right here and the ground you can see that it started raining a little bit we ran into so many issues technically before this happened my gopro turned on in my bag so it killed the battery we had to go to a best buy we had to find another battery he's on a track bike no brakes feet up Ground's wet. The way he passes his truck over here is insane. This shit right here, dude. It doesn't look like anything, but we flew past that thing. I got all weird with the 360 cameras. Here we go. I was blessed to found this music too. This music, this like score was like a live performance. I think it works super well. people on the freeway selling things to cars. This is a freeway. There's just people standing in between cars. It's like kids what? and shit. This is like a descent, and on the way up, we actually caught a sketch on the side of this uh, this truck. Uh, this clip right here, uh, this portion of the video made its rounds on uh, Instagram um, quite heavily. <laughs> just the way that we're just floating through this like highway traffic is crazy.
he's all the way in his drops right now too. It's tight. <laughs> Just cutting between cars. Look at the gap he's starting to get on me. It's fucked up. <laughs> I was also on a, uh, a gravel bike while I was filming this, uh, with really wide, richy handlebars and uh, really fat tires. It was the wrong bike. tucks again. This tuck over here is really crazy too because he just like gets in front of, he just passes cars while he's tucked and gets in between, like cars are hitting their brakes and he still has his feet up. <laughs> There's no way to stop the bike right now. This is a Mexico City for anybody who's uh, wondering. Look at that, that lane change? What the fuck? <laughs> In June, this video will be for two years since I filmed it. Crazy. I didn't end up putting the video out until like October though. <laughs> I can give you a little backstory right here. Uh, the reason why I had him clap the camera is because I actually did cut the camera. Because um, I wanted to change the battery. I wanted to these messages. We'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to pause it for a second because uh, I think I'm having... Um, internet data issues sorry about that guys that's the internet um, but so I basically had Safa slap the camera um, so I can put a cut in there and I put a little commercial break in here that I'll play as well but um, it's uh, I had him do that because um, I needed to make sure there was enough battery and it was about to die. So he slapped the camera and then we switched cam uh, batteries in the GoPro basically. And then we can, we continued on. So let's, let's see if I can get this back on here. Here's the commercial break. Bicycling is a lot of fun, good exercise and a fine means of transportation. However, you must know the rules of safe riding and obey them, or you will find it a very dangerous sport. So this is, uh, that's Safa right there. Safa, I think Amir, Richard. Uh, and I shot this on Super 8 with a drone, a GoPro, a bunch of different cameras. Stills. Uh, that was the last time the drone flew. <laughs> I crashed it really bad, like multiple times.
That's me with the wheelie. You know how to get some shine time. <laughs> Stop us filming there. This was a stop motion here, on your and it took like eight, you are 10 hours to do, or and I had um, a bunch of people helping. And then it goes right back into the video. So this is the part where Safa drops me multiple times. Um, the first couple times was my my bars, man. I couldn't fit, couldn't fit in uh, in between the trucks. So luckily I had this camera angle on Safa, so we can just cut to him when I was lost. <laughs> So this part, I already almost missed the turn. I got on the, the grass trail like at the wrong angle. <laughs> I didn't even know it was coming up. Cause we didn't really scout this line, like any of this. He, he showed me on the way up, but that was it. Like, we didn't do like a pre-ride or anything. Also the audio on this part. Um, I used to have better sound audio from the camera, but for some reason it got yanked out. Sappho's wearing a microphone on this and it got yanked out somehow. He hops up this ledge pretty easy. <laughs> down this slide like what the hell softly the microphone like this whole part I was so confused he like pointed it out on the way up but I was like what was like yeah we're gonna go through here and I was like I didn't know we were gonna hop up this big old like chunk curb and cross the street and all this I was like where are we going <laughs> This is where I get, I get, uh, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I had go between two semi trucks, like Safa rides through it, and then my bars are like way wider, and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to get clipped. Yeah, up here, these semi trucks, man. Oh my god, oh god, these ones, no, dude. Yeah, 
this Instagram has made its runs, or this video has made its runs on Instagram. There's little clips that have been put up and like blown up heavily. Yeah, remember, he's on a track bike. <laughs> Can you imagine what, what he would have done on a road bike or a gravel bike? You can see the weird stitch lines from the... Uh, I was using a Rilo on his stem here. That guy was just happened to close his door when he rode by. So weird. He's like, yeah, I have this sweet hotline idea. We're going to ride through a graveyard, through a skate park, <laughs> on some highways. Like, what the fuck? Okay. part that sucks is I just wish the audio was better right here because that wind noise if you go back and watch the first part of the video there's no wind noise it's like really good audio and then the audio recorder got jammed up for some reason I don't know the cable came unpulled it's happened before on other videos uh oh what's that back there So I finally caught up to him. <laughs> this is still the graveyard. And I knew we had to cross. There was like a two lane road going this way. And I knew that it was coming up soon. I remember, I was like, man, there's gonna be a sketchy road crossing coming out of this like, downhill cemetery spot. And he, he pointed it out to me. He's like, it's gonna be a little sketch, dicey crossing this street and it got dicey <laughs> like there was a car coming right when we came out uh, somehow we made it through smoothly but I I think this part is cool like riding through this graveyard is, is like it looks really good This is also before uh, before I had NDs for my camera, so. Yeah, here he goes. You can see him like skipping and slowing down, trying to, but look at those cars. One, two, three. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and then these cars coming around. gap he has on me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uh, trying my best not to pass out. Yeah, why don't we just hit the skate park on the way through? Sure, alright. So we both fucking hit all the little ramps. There's a gap right here. That's a gap. <laughs> he hit the wall ride. <laughs> he also does another wall ride over here on the barrier, which is tight. Like in the middle of all this. Not really tired. Just, oh fuck it, let's just hit this wall ride. This one right here on the barrier, watch. 
And he's kind of moving too. He's like, fuck it, let's hit this. <laughs> Uh, there was a cut right there, a black cut. Um, I just, there was like five or ten extra seconds of darkness in there, I cut it out. I, I can tell you guys the music. Um, I gotta, I gotta look it up. But it's a live recording. That's how I worked my way around not getting demonetized on YouTube. <laughs> this shit's fucking nuts. I couldn't see in there. And then there's goddamn motorcycles on the damn in the street. There's motorcycles in our gaps. Look at that, he cut in front of that guy. Okay, so this guy, he knows he sees me behind him and now slows me down. But then he gives me the okay. He's so tight. <laughs> He's like, go ahead, dude. Barely catch up to him. All these cars are trying to turn into me. <laughs> and then he does this wild ass fucking left right right here with the motorcycles coming and I had to just do it too and I was like and I'm gonna get hit I'm gonna get rear end and then this fucking shit you guys know uh, if I didn't have brakes I would have crashed right there hey, look at that little green bar glitch on the bottom of the video it's a fucking Rilo glitch Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude, that shit is sketchy. Look at him, dude. He's fucking moving. He's like looking back for me like, Oh, Terry's done. This part would have been sweet to film through too, because we're still moving. Can you hear him? <laughs> Terry's stuck behind the fucking moto. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. So that was uh, one of the craziest ones. Stop that. Um, yeah, man, that shit's that shit was, ooh, heavy. Um, <laughs> Daniel is asking how many times uh, did I need to change my underwear while filming with Safa? <laughs> uh, we went and ate Japanese food right after that. I can tell you that. I was starving. Oh yeah, I wanted to show the music. Um, let me see. I don't know. Is it not linked? Let me see. Oh, I, that's right. I forgot. I got threatened by Amazon. Uh, <laughs> so I had to change all my uh, descriptions and all my videos at once. So all the music credits got all messed up. Um, damn. Well, I'll have to uh, update you guys um, maybe tomorrow's video because I have to I have to find it on the hard drive so I don't just have it available here. But it's a live performance um, of this musician here out of New York. Um, 
can't think of his name right now, but it's good stuff. Um, I'll get that to you guys. Jacques, uh, thanks, man. Um, good idea, too. Uh, I was reading some of the comments. Uh, they were saying that I should do this more often. Um, that's a good idea. I think I will. Um, I guess I'll, yeah, I can just do them live and then, and then trim it later and uh, put them up that way. That'd be cool. Uh, it's also it would be cool when we get back to the studio um, and everyone can hang out with each other again. I could get the rider in with me and we can both have mics and both watch the video at the same time while talking over it. That would be cool. So it's not just my uh, commentary. It's like the writers as well. Um <laughs> post that as a separate clip yeah maybe i will i don't know i i think i can do that through this live stream thing the editor um i think there's a way to do it i can i can save this separately um i wasn't recording any of this like through here so we'll see um but yeah that's it for today's um uh, morning routine <laughs> didn't have coffee with you guys this morning because i had to run some errands but uh Thanks for tuning in. Uh, glad that uh, we just experienced a live demo for possibly some new videos, uh, some new content while we're sitting here. That's a good idea. I can do these uh, from home without affecting anyone, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I'll get you guys the music info too. That's a good idea. Until then, um, I guess I'll catch you guys. Is there a stain right here? What is that? Catch you guys on the uh, the next next video upload and the next live stream um, tomorrow in the morning, eight fifteen a.m. Uh, Eastern time for the upload, and uh, we'll do the stream sometimes uh, sometime after that. If you guys just uh, logged in, uh, I'm Terry Berenson. I make cycling videos. Uh, this is a live stream. I've been